Boom, 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 boom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your man, Jay Drew North. Let me turn on my webcam here for you. On. It says it's on, but it's not showing. Oh, that might be why. Nope. Doesn't want to connect, I guess. All right. Interesting. Just checking the stream, seeing if everything else is fine. Webcam doesn't seem to want to pick up, which is fine. We can do it without. We don't need that. I hope everyone's enjoying their their experience so far. I'm enjoying mine. I'm just trying to see if I can get my uh, webcam up and running. If not, we'll just go ahead with on it. Uh, do, do, do. Maybe if I try unplugging and plugging it back in. Does that work? Nope, that's no, not showing anything either. All right, we will continue with a webcam. I'll just hide the border and we will move on. running there we go okay. those windows and away we go all right here we go chat we're live level nine moving on we will see what it's in store for us Let's get to her. Let's pitter patter. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I need my controller. There we go. Okay, here we go. Where's my mouse? There we go. Four hours in, level nine. We did some exploring. We'll see what's in store. Is that not showing up on stream? So weird. All right. All right, we'll move on. We just finished uh, doing a duel. That's where we left it off at chat. In case anyone is wondering where we were. We just finished doing the duel. We were paired up with Sebastian, unfortunately. And uh, we'll see what happens. Moving on. Here we go. Sorry, it took way too long to get going. 
I apologize. That was, what, five minutes I spent? Jesus. All right, here we go. What's the mission I want to do? go and do some fast travel no point wasting some more time walking around we'll just get right to her i hope everyone's enjoying their weekend i know it's super bowl weekend tomorrow I'll probably do an early stream if i do one but yeah we just finished doing a duel Travel me? Oh, I went to the wrong spot, Dumbo. Jesus. Like, I want one of the flu networks. Let's go. I don't want the little mission. I know what mission I'm on. Oi! Can you help me? I got a mission to do first. I'll talk to you after. The reason I'm having longer load screens. Revelio. say you can't see that. I can clearly see that. It's part of a mission, apparently. Once you get a certain thing I want. There we go. Alright. Really? You you had me wait. And Professor, Jesus. I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. 
It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, mm. and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. Dark. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Hecate. Just starting a recording just in case we find anything. Nothing in here, eh? Jesus. You can't imagine how far we travel. Yeah, that's a bunch of up and downs. Convenient travel was before I invented blue power. Hello there. Perhaps you can Hello? Help? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think I'm still too far... Not far enough ahead for that. Revelio. Something in here. And 
Interesting. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Okay. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> uh, try to have a bit of fun today. Huh? All right, I need to get back on mission here. down here we go running 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 through the halls of hogwarts going down the stairs here we go Woo! ah a rhinoceros skeleton oh. i'm on the right track Ooh, okay so that's a clue for the object okay I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Cross wands. I have to win two things of cross wands, eh? Revelio. I heard something in here. There it is. There is one. Good God page. Damn, damn, damn.
Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. stairs, through the doors, across the causeway, been down this hallway before, like look at this, this is magnificent, like everyone remembers where gaming used to be, this is not it. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Nasty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Breakthrough, violet shield forces. Heck yeah. Okay. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay, complete a spell 
combo practice with Lucas Bradley. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. There we go. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Lumos, Levioso, Akio. Nicely done. Levioso. Good one. Levioso. Yeah. I like that mode. That's it. Backspin move right there. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Fast travel there. Is there a fast travel route? There we go. Let's see if that works. Nice to see you, my young friend. I trust oh, Mr. Hey, Brattleby was able to accommodate you, going, and that I finished all of the tasks yeah, you gave me, Professor nice, Hackett. Uh, little... Glad to hear it. Thing to then do. you should be ready to learn in Could be a DLC that's coming. Should be, it's Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to, to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand, wand steady. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. X, try square, X, X. No. Okay, I'm just gonna end uh, that recording rather than having 40 minute or like last time. Good work.
There we go. All right, where to next? Come on. Oh, we're going up the stairs. Up the stairs. Going back to Fig. Professor Fig. Figgy. I'm completely fine without having a boom because, like, we're in Hogwarts right now. Like, might as well explore some. Do it the hard way. That was a long road. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And now we wait, and then I'm going to hit the button again because it probably did that. Ah, there you are. Yeah, like, why don't you just put me straight into it? Don't get that part. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that yeah. after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. We? My office, five minutes. Mr. Black. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. No, well, we go talk to Sebastian and we go into the restricted section. Bet you any money, chat. That's what we do. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. wasn't a very good clip. There we go. <coughs> oh, that beer was in the fridge too long. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. 
I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. Yes, and I am. Did. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Time jump, eh? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Have I been in this hallway? Revelio. Interesting. This is a nice hallway. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it, and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. Give it a try. Okay, so we have to learn a new spell that makes us invisible. For the most part. And we can continue on. Is that what you're getting at? I think I think that's what you mean. Alright. Let's try it, chat. Here we go. We got it next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting how Hermione Granger did not know that. Okay, so I need to attach that, so how do I do that? Don't need an Sindo. There we go. Incendio. My 
My bad. Wrong button. Let's uh get a new recording going. That was my bad chat. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to light the person on fire. Even though I wasn't even aiming at them. Alright, where was I? Okay, the stream's looking okay. Just, sorry chat, just checking to make sure my stream's still good. Alright. And my... There we go. I don't know why it doesn't just bring me up on screen. I'll be quieter than a job knob. So many prefects guarding the library. Might be harder than I think, chat. Prefects might be able to as well. Be careful. There's a letter down here. There's a letter that still needs to be seen. I'm gonna have to wait for them to disappear there. Guys, disappear, separate. Disappear there.
Wow, that was a loud door. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Okay, here we go. Okay, here it is. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Wow, just sends the lock flying up in the air, eh? Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you.
was close. Encounter students at all hours of the day and night. What? How do you like there's no second passageway, is there? That's so so bizarre. Checking the stream, making sure it's good to go. Amazing. Might be a little lag. I apologize if anyone's experiencing some lag. Gonna start a new recording. Go. Ghost, don't let her see you. Keep quiet now. Should be in the clear now. We must be skulking about. Oh, look at that! That would have been something cool to make a, a Morse code. So, what egg. is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. There's one of those chests, chat. One of those chests where if you're invisible, you can sneak up and get the treasure that lies within. But if it sees you... Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Oh, there's another one of those dudes. This is still the library?
Sebastian oh, Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Interesting. Wow. Restricted section goes on for ever Jesus where are we down here of course traces of ancient magic there must be more to this room Chest. Where might this lead? Here we go. We're about to find out. I need to wake up that rune over there.
Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Rebellion. Rebellion. This must be the way forward, but goes to where? Forever. You just tuned into the stream, welcome. We are in the restricted section of the library. I don't remember reading about it, but we are. Keep my wits about me. Oh, okay. So it makes two bridges, so I have to get to the first one. Interesting way to do it. Got some guards here. Six guards potentially, it looks like. Three on the left, three on the right.
Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. It is a book after all. Revelio. Weather wizard, eh? Interesting. You wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happened, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. 
My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Um, she didn't look like she had the look that she could keep a secret. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? These are one of those things. I have to find the flying key. Probably in the library somewhere. Flu network on oh, that. What are you up to now? Revenue. Oh, it's upstairs. Revelio. There we go. Make a recording there before I get too far ahead. There we go. Look at this place. They did a nice job.
here's another one of these things. Uh, Lumos. You used Lumos. And the light from your wand basically activates it. Let's see if we can fast travel. Open up our handy dandy map. There we go. Fast travel. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh... Oh dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Is 
time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Rebellion. Thank you. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
Revelio. I should investigate. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Rebellion. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Okay, so that was nice and quick. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? This is 150. And these mushrooms, I presume that I'm collecting, are 150. Wing one hundred oceans.
100 as well. Okay. Let's see. What do you offer? Download the clubs. Yeah, I'm going to sell those. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Let's see what else I, I hope install. to see you again. Some uh, I think there's a lot of stuff I install. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> Brown leather gloves I definitely sell. Scarf we can sell. I don't know if you guys heard me there or not. I think I lost my microphone. Maybe. Here we are. Please. No Let's more sell of that. Hello, items. Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Good enough for I me. Hope to see you again sometime. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Who needs keys when you know Alohomora? Oh, I better uh, stop that recording. That recording has uh, gone over 20 minutes. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock, 
And Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Nice to see you, my young friend. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Hmm. Do I want to help her? Or do I want to betray? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace.
You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. They must have come this way. Think! I'd no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! You'll regret crossing my path. <laughs> just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. 
She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. You got the Mallow Suite to work, now what to do about these pyres? Leviosa! Incendio! The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started.
Incendio. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. Oh wow, that's how close I got. That one almost went under. Okay, I'm going to do a new recording. there get a little closer off on another adventure are we as uh, a looking at my phone Oh, nope, wrong way. It's down the stairs. Guess I better go on the bottom one. Whoop.
Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Herbology looks amazing in here. Go with herbology class, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I wonder if Hippogriff's like... I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. 
Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Rebellio. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't Here we are, home of the... Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost got the thumb once. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Revelio. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. 
I'll see you back in class. Rebellion. Rebellion. Revelio. Handy resource indeed. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Sorry, chat, just check my phone. to and that clip there a new recording and back at it got 
a minute. Okay, let's uh, figure out where we're going. Ooh, potions class! We got potions class coming up. Oh yeah. Potions class. What are you up to now? Revelio. Maybe all is all. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incomprehensible and all. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. All right, here we go. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round.
Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion and then return to me. Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld potion, but there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Rebellion. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Rebellion. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh, there's some potions. A well prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potions. Potions on hand. 
My Wigan World potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. seconds. I hope everyone else is enjoying their Hogwarts Legacy adventure, as I am. I've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying walking around the hallways, going to class. At some point we'll get a broom. We we'll just have to get the main storyline to keep going forward. And now we add the Mallow Sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Not again! Oh, Mel! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Wigan World Potion is not a cure-all. 
And no salve is a substitute for common sense. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Interesting. Revelion. I hate to see a creature get put down. The trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Ugh, my I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggermeld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. I used to enjoy flying. Revelio. Imagine how inconvenient travel was I before I invented blue powder. Well. But surely. class you wanted to see me sir indeed allow me to introduce myself so few students know who I am these days Heldridge Diggory former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, 
It's missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the Ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. I don't even know who you were! When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Curiosity they teach at Hogwarts will not serve you well. Revelio. And when did I set my rally behind strength and you can't go wrong? Is when mine Accio! Leviosa! Incendio! Potato! You'll have to fight eventually! safer now. Uh. Revelio. This place has seen better days.
This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you talk about this. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. I'd rather not go to Azkaban. Is there no other way to help? I fear not. She cannot leave. And a student like you may provide the impetus she needs to save herself. I would never suggest so drastic a measure if I did not feel it was necessary. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Interesting.
That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. This isn't a place for loitering. I never right, thought of it. We're gonna end that recording and make a new one. There we go. That was getting to over 20 minutes. I'm for myself. All right, here we go. Nasty dementors. Not Ask even I could convince the ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Dead man walking. Death row. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. Ooh, they have a cell for me. Look at that. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Oh, wrong button. There we go. I'm in Azkaban as a prisoner. One day I will be free. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Yeah, everyone does. All around the darkness, my only friend, my only hope. No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Fields! Fields! Ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? <laughs> oh, Lordy. We got hit by dark magic. Dark magic indeed on this one. You hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get. Once I get nothing. Okay. But Madam Thistlewood, I. All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jack Daw's cave. Okay. I think the cab gather these. No. Nope. Revelio. Another handle. <laughs> Going for a walk in the river of 
darkness. Ooh, we got people to talk to. I wonder who lives here. I could use some gold. Pushing a plow is good, honest work. Brown Rock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Lift in the hive, please. Uh, is this a guide? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. New instruments are expensive, you know. Ooh, another wand handle. Rebellion. All right, all right. <coughs> Something outside here. This looks intriguing. Bardolf Beaumont. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Interesting. Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I don't want that quest, I want a main quest. Suggested level 17. Ooh. So yeah, no. We're not gonna do that yet. That's too advanced for me. I'm not that big of a wizard yet. Rebellion. It's up top, isn't it? I like that move. Nope, 
can't gather them. This must be the place Anne told me about. Rebellion. No one's been here for ages. All that for 51 gold. It's no wonder I never found that clue. No, that's not it. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? Incendio! Accio! It's no wonder I never found that clue. Okay, top left. No, that's not it. Oh, that's done something. Accio! No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? It's no wonder I never found that clue. You can outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Revelio. Okay. A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all?
Revelio. Accio. No, that's not it. No. How did you do this, Jackdaw? I should investigate. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Hey, level 13. One step closer. Okay. Want a main quest? and Sindo twice more.
Okay, so I need to find an enemy. Give me a second, I'm going to the washroom. I'm gonna first end that recording. And make a new one.
Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Going to there we go. Damn, three hour stream, not bad, not bad. All right. Right. Need to get myself a charming trim. Look at that. Look at that spiffy outfit, chat. What do you think? Got a new headpiece. Rocking it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It's like a place right out of a storybook.
Revelio. Oops. Something here. Whoa. I'm taking a picture. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. down here. Akio! Incendio! Yes! Eight legs is simply too many. Revelio. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. something up here. Incendio!
Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized. All right, let's see. Sell some stuff right here. You get back on the road. It's not right. I could use some gold. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against the rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. <sighs> I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. 
he's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself, if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day... He didn't come home. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm. Only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have for sale? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. use more of these. Thank you for passing through.
least stingy. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. How nice of you to stop by. a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. <laughs> Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should.
Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Fuck you. Oh. 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 What happens when you ah. don't listen? Fine, scrap this out. Longer than necessary. I won't rest. Ah. Why can't I hit you? Let me also. Hogwarts teach you Accio. nothing! Uh, Incendio! Oh. How nice of you to stop. Let's get this over with. Agria! Not quiet enough. You look tired. Accio! Incendio! Oh. on Ranrock's hands. One camp down, one more to go. Accio! Revelio. It won't be long now before we find another repository. Mushroom. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. Bring 
me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take more. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. How nice of you to stop by. Hmm. One less human to worry about. You will regret coming here. You ought to cut back on pudding. I took you for a troll the other day. Rock to blame. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. There we go. Is my microphone on? I think it is now. Running through the fields. Can't wait to get my broom. We're going on an adventure, Sam. One more step. And this will be the furthest I've been away from the Shire. Dun, dun, dun. It's like oh, a place dark. right out of a storybook. Plants. I do miss the bustle of. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared dun, them dun, out? Dun. How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. You're this welcome. will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. Hey, what do you have for sale? I got some stuff to sell. What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely.
might as well sell stuff because keeping Thank it doesn't really food. do any good for you. Because you're only able to carry so much. Not enough reflection on the past, in my opinion. The world learns from its mistakes. New instruments are expensive, you know. A nut, a sickle, a galleon. Oh, I'd probably have to pay him. I've always said that travel. All right, let's see. What do we got? What's our next mission? In the Duck Ops class during the day. Okay. Here we go. Him quickly. up on four hours of streaming this is one of my longer ones I'm actually surprised the Wi-Fi and everything is stayed on page To take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. 
I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As my you God. might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Accio! Expelliarmus! Still at it, I see. Incendium! Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
All right, so someone was asking. I believe I'm recording now. All right, it's your man, J True North, bringing you a quick guide on how to unlock these things. So basically, it has a puzzle, and on the outside, there's 10 slots that have an animal slash beast, whatever you want to call them, labeled. So we basically start on the left side and work our way to the right. So on the bottom uh, left is going to be zero. The unicorn is one. The unicorn is one for us on th this particular one. Then we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I count something wrong? One, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, there's nine, nine things. Okay, so the guide on how to do this, there's nine things, as you can see. So we start at zero and we go to nine. The unicorn is one. So on the left side, that's where we're starting over here on the left. So we go around and we're trying to figure it out. So we got zero all the way to nine. The unicorn's one. Okay. Everyone can see the unicorn nice and clearly in this angle. So the top uh, puzzle, we're going to go to the left side. So in the middle, it says 21 is the total. So we know we have 11. We also have uh, that little beastie thingy type thing. So it's going to be a two because that's the slot it's in. You can come up from the left. It gives us two. So that means we need eight left because that gets us 13. We need 21. So comes over to the far side. We're going to need a spider to do the left one. And where's my... There we go. There we go. There's the spider. Still not there. Next up, we're working on the bottom puzzle. But for the bottom puzzle, we don't have any numbers. But instead, we have two animals. So we find the cor correlation between the two animals. Let me move my head there basically we got a nine because that's on the bottom right that gives us nine basically and then the other creature that we need is going to be in the fifth uh zero one two three four five is five that little crabby type thingy okay so that gets us to 14. after that of 17 we still need three so we come down to the left side. Zero, one, two, three is the three-headed uh, sea monster, dragon, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be the three. So we come over to the right side over here. Where is it? Missed it. Oh, it's up top. Right? Up top. When I'm in hockey, I'm yeah, up here. Hockey. Up here. We come down here. The door. And miraculously, we have solved the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just enter. Collect the spoils of the two chests. Not bad. So that's how you solve for the doors that have the puzzle on them. Wow, that was a long explanation. That took forever. I've learned almost all of Revelio. Would you test me? Go on, test me.
Jojo. Boom, boom, boom. How do you do? Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Incendio! Levioso! Excellent form! Accio! Incendio! Good one! Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. That's it. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, stop. Don't make Rex me blush. In the wand work Seriously, well done. The dummy. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other jewelers had better beware. Other oh, than a duel, you have that massive cooldown effect. Just cleaning my Blu-ray glasses here, chat. Sorry. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Why not? I certainly am. Brilliant. Why not? Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Expelliarmus. 
Incendio. I could never duel like that. What a victory! Da, 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 da. Woo woo woo! It was mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. I'm flattered, but I didn't deserve such an honor. Come now, you're the undisputed winner. You should revel in your accomplishment. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. That reminds me, I haven't checked on mine in a while either. You can't be beat, can you? Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Yes. The best duelist won, I suppose. All right. What mission do we get? go chat on the move let's go see why the main quest made sure I had a side mission you can't imagine how inconvenient honest. travel was before I invented flu powder Here's the flowers here we go this area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry of Magic Forbidden Forest. All right, here we go. Let's collect some mushrooms. At some point, I'll probably use them. One day. This area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry. Enough signs? Whoop, whoop. Poacher trackers, eh? I almost captured a graphorn in the forest. It escaped, but Is that the bridge from the poster? No, I can't remember. Anyway, here we go. Waiting area. In the Forbidden Forest. Here I am, as good as my word. Does anyone else we meet again, think it Richard sounds Jackdorf. like Draco? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. 
It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? All right, I'm going to attach uh, this one. There, there we go. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've oh, been very helpful. Make sure I'm recording here. There we go. I'm recording, chat. We're good. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Fast travel hmm. point. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Bird bath. Adieu. Gotcha. We are looking Latin? for a bird bath in the forbidden hmm. forest. Nothing to do now but keep going. Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Is that a Niffler? I think those are Nifflers. Or something. We're gonna take a quick screenshot of that. There we go. Save that for later. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Intramuros. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> but <laughs> let me know. And utterly pitiful 
Those loyalists will report back to Ramrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. All right, here we go. Jack Doris' tomb. All right. Revelio. Wonder how big this place is. Ooh, is that a dead body? Is it looks like a dead body, chat. Two spiders and a dead body, maybe. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. I wonder if any of my spells will be through this. Revelio. Good God. I'm not going to touch those. Look. Hey, there's a 
piece of clothing. More fangs and a big giant chest. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Lebioso! Bodega! Accio! Incendio! I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Accio! Incendio! Accio! Touched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Why aren't you aiming at that? Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. hidden somewhere. Revelio. Yeah, I'm missing one. Oh, way over there. symbol. 
And I threw one of my things. Revelio. How do Interesting. Revelio. Accio. Okay. Revelio. That's a dead end. Akio. Revelio. Interesting. Maybe I just need to go to bed and try it in the morning. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Revelio. Revelio. And now I'm too far away. Oh. Is it? I was thinking it was a different rock. up there I was I didn't definitely do that I was thinking it was that one Revelio Can you see that thing down there yeah uh, Dumbo there we go we solved the chat
Revelio. <laughs> Accio. How did that miss? Revelio. Okay, can't go up there. Akio. Really? Is that the ambush? Revelio. Rebellio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Accio. Revelio. That's odd. 
I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Incendio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. Where could he be? Revelio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Revelio. Touched chest. Territor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. I'm 
glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? All right, now I have to go drop some gear because somehow 20 gear slots is like nothing. Rebellion. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be more bad with the character.
Imagine how the spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. This place is massive. I've been down here for a little bit. And NG, uh, NSG? I would say no. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Bam, there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's really any. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. There's something beyond this room. There's Jackdaw looking dead as ever. What happened to him? Might it happen again? Let 
here. Incendio. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. The green gods and the restricted section. Rebellion. Where am I? Oh no, the room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelio. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? 
to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
Revelio. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Hogsmeade, here I come. 